Hello everyone and welcome to a little update about my life, about what's been happening since I last posted about my vlogging channel being monetized, so big news. I've had quite a week <laughs> with a lot of things happening. Today I've just started filming my new online course for women about pleasuring men. I've been already working on it for a good few, few months, putting together the most powerful, amazing, wonderful, exciting curriculum of information and tools and techniques and ideas for any lady who wants to become an absolutely amazing, extraordinary lover to her male partner and everything else she needs to know. So that's already in the making and the filming has started. I am so excited about that. I love making and releasing online courses and this is going to be my 10th one, I think. So this is definitely a very exciting one because this is something that I really wish I myself had access to when I was starting on my sexual journey and when I was sort of slowly, laboriously gathering all that information and learning and going and sifting through all the I guess abundance of information available but most of it being unhelpful or even just incorrect. Don't always trust everything that you find online. Not all of it is good quality. After, you know, sifting and learning over, over the years and becoming qualified, now I know what works, I know what's good. And that's why I love putting together my online courses to share that knowledge with anybody who will listen. <laughs> Other quite big, things, two big things happened earlier this week actually. On Tuesday I had a little medical procedure, uh, nothing nothing big, I'm, I'm healthy, it's all good. I had to sort of um, recover from it so then I got back home and just spent sort of a good few hours after that on the couch recovering and, uh, and taking care of myself. But another second big thing that happened that really was a surprise in a way. Well, I sold my house. So I'm saying it was a surprise because that's like, that's, I never even entertained that idea that I would sell my house. It was like the, from the beginning, the idea was to keep it, rent it out when I go and just kind of have it pay for itself while I'm already in Europe. But after speaking to my accountant, it turned out that it's not as simple because I will, stop my tax residency. I'll have to change my tax residency from Australia to, to Poland or somewhere else in Europe. And so because of that, the tax implications will be such that I will need to pay tax on all of my assets in Australia. So it just looks like it's going to be much wiser to sell all of my Australian assets and just take that cash with me to Europe and buy property there. And I actually have a really good real estate agent and my house was literally on the market for less than a week and before I got an offer. After a bit of negotiating, um, we signed the contract. At this stage, it is a conditional contract, meaning um, it is conditional upon the finance, so the buyer needs to secure finance and the buyer needs to accept the pest and building inspection. The, so the pest and building inspection already happened also a few days ago. So now it's up to the buyer to say, yes, I still want it after seeing the, the condition report. And yes, I've been able to secure finance. All of that should happen before Christmas. So sometime before Christmas, we should be signing the unconditional contract and then the settlement will happen around mid-January at which point I will get the money for the sale of the house and I will give the house away so I'll give away the keys and I have to move out of here so then I'll be free to go back to Europe <laughs> what an interesting turn of events and obviously that can still fall true because if the buyer doesn't get finance or doesn't accept the uh, pest and in building inspection report, then they can still back out of the sale. But there are other people already showing interest and being interested in purchasing my house. So 
it doesn't seem like it's gonna be a hard thing to do you know to sell the house which is exciting and it kind of like it all feels so right because at this stage you know i've been thinking about moving back to europe and leaving australia since i think march earlier this year so almost a year at this stage i've been th thinking about it and wanting to go and then stressing about it and considering other possibilities and opportunities and other ways to go about being maybe half a year here half a year there etc and then i finally sort of came at the full circle and i'm back at you know at that idea of actually moving there permanently because that's what my heart desires like that's that's what i want to be right now i really want to be closer to my family I've spent 14 years in Australia on the other side of the world with no family or no long-term friends from my earlier years, you know, just kind of building and creating a new life for myself here. And I have, and I have been extremely happy, but it really feels like it's time to go back and I can't wait and I really feel ready for it. So I have so much clarity around that. And plus I have just such pull towards being in, in Europe and I've been talking about it on you know in my previous videos so I won't be boring you again about how much I am desiring to be back in Europe and just spend time in all of these different countries and experience all that variety you know of people cultures you know languages art and situations and nature and opportunities and all of that I'm just really wanting and desiring to be there and, Im and to immerse myself in that kind of life, European life. There's not just a complete clarity there for me about what I want to do. There's also such a desire to be there already, to visit the countries and spend all that time with my family and friends and everybody I know there and make more friends and expand my horizons even more. <laughs> So please hold your fingers crossed or whatever your <laughs> yeah, whatever helps <laughs> um, to keep things going uh, so that my house gets sold quickly and easily so the contract and the sale goes through and so that everything else kind of falls into its right place. It kind of feels like it has been so far, you know, since I got that clarity, it feels like everything's just been kind of happening so quickly and so easily it's like energetically this is the absolute right thing for me to do at the moment at this point in my life and that's why the whole universe is sort of helping that and supporting that plan and helping it to happen that's what it feels like anyways this is why the house just sold so quickly just considering all the options it really seems like things are falling into place in the most wonderful, amazing way. And I can't wait, can't wait to see what happens next. And what really excites me the most about it is that I could be back in Europe next month. Like, next month. <laughs> like, I'm thinking as as early as 20th of January, maybe, depending on how the dates work out with the settlement and with the sale of the house and other other bits and pieces and loose ends I'll have to kind of tie up and take care of. But next month, I might be in Europe. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> Thank you for being here and showing your love and support through likes and comments. I love having chats and conversations with all of you through the comment section. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it sounds crazy to you or amazing or weird. I know what I'm doing for many people seems strange because I don't seem to be able to settle down anywhere and I'm kind of always on the move and I'm just coming up with more and more ideas and big plans and big projects and sometimes I just get kind of tired of myself but it is what it is <laughs> and now I'm gonna go and make dinner because I'm hungry thank you so much I love you guys bye